not show you the label because I have no sponsors. It's your man Craig Shelton for Houston Media Watch. Dot com. It's www.houstonmediawatch.com. What the hell is that you ask? That's a media watch group. It is what the TI is. Just what it sounds like. What do we do? Watch the media. Duh. Hey, the media follows sports teams, scrutinizes sports teams, their administration, their coaching, their personnel. And we're going to do the same thing with you. We'll treat your program directors just like you treat them. Gary Kubiak, how about that? HoustonMediaWatch.com. I'll tell you more about it later. Hey, you can tune in to KCOH 1430 AM. KCOH 1430 AM every Wednesday. And you can catch me with the Godfather Sports Talk, Ralph Cooper, starting at 5 p.m. That's KCOH 1430 AM for Sports Rap with my man Ralph Cooper and your boy Craig Sheldon. And let's get it started. And no better place to get it started. It is March the 15th. By the way, happy birthday to my little brother, Red Raider Kevin, from the Red Raider Nation. He's celebrating his, um, say, happy birthday to my brother. Uh, let's start off with March Madness. How about Coach Tom Penders of the University of Houston Cougars? Congratulations to Coach Penders. His fourth team, count him, his fourth team that he's gotten to the big dance in his illustrious career. Now that puts him in a unique fraternity with only eight other coaches that have had that same achievement. Got to give Coach Pender some credit. And he took this job at U of H, and that's the reason why after the game, he said that this particular advancement to the dance was the sweetest one for him because when he took this job six years ago, well, quite frankly with you, it was viewed as a job that just couldn't happen. That was a ladder that was too risky to climb, a hill too tall. It just wasn't going to happen. Quote, unquote, as Coach said, Mission Impossible. But well, six years later, Coach Penders makes it to his first NCAA tournament, led by Houston's own Aubrey Coleman, the nation's leading scorer. But against the Utah Miners, uh, Utah Miners, that is, who the Cougs upset in Tulsa, Oklahoma this weekend, uh, Coleman was only able to muster up 13 points on four of 20 shooting. But hey, no problem. Senior guard Kelvin Lewis stepped up with 28 points, made six three pointers to break a Conference USA championship game record. Now, great, great accolades for the University of Houston Cougars. No doubt about that. Great things going on um, over there with the football program. Uh, but right now, the real question on campus at U of H is six years into his, his situation with University of Houston, Coach Pilgers is now making it to the dance for his first time. Is that enough, though? And should that be enough? What should, what should the criteria be um, for a six-year coach making it to the dance only once in those six years? And taking into consideration that U of H is a community school, um, money is always an issue there, but come on, let's face it, we're talking about the birthplace of the most famous basketball fraternity in the history of collegiate basketball. You know what I'm talking about, man. By Sam Ajama, Akeem the Dream, Clyde Drexler, Ricky Winslow back in the day. How about Michael Young and his son Joseph Young, who stars at Yates High School. By the way, congratulations to those kids for winning the state championship this weekend up in Austin, state for a title for the second year in a row. Congrats to Coach Greg Wise. I segue to Coach Greg Wise for this very reason. Love Coach Tom Pimpers. I'm really a huge fan of the guy. Great basketball personality, great basketball mind. But hey, man, it's a result-driven world. Greg Wise, current Jack Yates Lion High School coach, two-time state champion, is the man for the job. He's got the recruiting momentum, I believe, necessary uh, to get things sparked off in the right direction at U of H. Coach Penders will be leaving him with a great base of talent over there right now to build on. And by the way, there's a misconception about Coach Penders and his local recruiting. There are five local recruits on his current U of H roster. So needless to say, Coach Penders has been doing some dirty work in that regard. But I don't think it's any secret to anybody. The alumni and general fan base has not been overall satisfied with Coach Penders um, with what he's been able to do locally in recruiting. So I think Greg Wise would be a guy that would take more of a local culture of ownership at the school and will probably stick around for a while because money's always an issue at U of H. And I think with Greg Wise, it might be a situation where the money is a come up for that brother. And on top of that, hey, he's, he's coaching high school a quarter mile down the road, not even that far down the road. I think he'd have a little interest 
in that local community, and I think you'd be a great fit for the University of Houston Cougars. How about that, man? We'll see.